Boss and welcome back to the Lux Boss channel. Today, as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be making some wholesale lip oils. I'm going to show you guys how I do this. Um, I got requests to do like more lip gloss videos and some more like skincare um, stuff. So I'm going to start off with this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do or that you saw me doing was just removing all of the caps from the tubes. I did already sanitize these and when I get through sanitizing them I just put them in like a container or a um, ziplock so I was just removing all the tubes and I'm showing you here the different um, supplies that I'm going to be using for these lip oils so to get started I like to go ahead and fill up each tube with the dried rose petals um, which are amazing for healing the skin and we don't want no crusty lips so you know um, dry rose petals definitely help to also heal the skin of our lips so I'm just filling up each one of those tubes this wholesale order was for just 10 um, 10 lip oils so that is what I am making and I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of my oils in now I did not display my oils in this video um, if you guys want to see a video on how to sort of pick the best oils for your lip gloss or for lip oils or anything like that, then let me know. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my oil oils in. I kind of already know the measurements um, because I actually was getting ready to make 20 lip oils because I needed to restock for Luxa Glow's actual website. So I'm just doing my measurements how I do them. Um, this is something that I've practiced especially when making a large batch of wholesale if you're wondering this large container here um, I like using this for wholesale for the lip oil um, specifically this actually came with my handheld blender off of Amazon but you could also use just a huge cup I just like using this better for the lip oil because the lip oil is a little bit loose than a little bit more loose I should say than the lip gloss so added all my oils and now here comes the fun part we are adding our Versa gel which obviously as you saw is from TKB trading um, for the 20 lip oils I would say I use well see this pack here was almost halfway using or how halfway used so I would say I used about half, a little bit over half of a pack of Versagel for this. And I still had some of the lip oil left over. So you guys didn't see it, but I actually was able to fill up six more tubes of lip oil. So this gave me about 26 tubes, almost 30 tubes um, with just this amount right here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and take this spoon. Uh, I think I showed you guys this spoon in a recent haul video. And I'm just mixing it together and yeah I just I mix it until I get the right consistency um, for the lip oil like I said it's not as thick as the actual lip gloss so here's my pipette now I want to show you that the pipette I don't cut it super far down I find that it helps so that you don't get too much air in so that's just a little tip um, don't cut it too far down and I was just showing you guys that but I took the pipette off just to fill up the syringe first and then I placed it back on once I was done me personally when it comes to the lip oils because they're a little bit more runny I like to stop and just put the cap in automatically as soon as I get done filling it up so it's not dripping all over the place um, so yeah that's what you're seeing me doing here just filling these up and placing the cap in and I'm just gonna keep doing this until I finish all the tubes um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and get started on the other 10, which those ones we used the roller balls for um, that I also showed you in a previous haul video. So I'll let you guys see that and I'll come back once I finish up filling all of the tubes.
my roller balls are filled up these are so cute I honestly think we're just gonna switch to roller balls um, the roller ball tubes from now on because I really love these and now it's time to get into everybody's favorite part which is the gloss bath when I do a smaller batch like this I just utilize the sink um, I clean the sink out and then just this is how I wash my tubes um, if it's a larger batch of glosses, I do have a specific like little bucket that I use for it. But because this batch was only 20 tubes, I went ahead and did it right here in the sink. So I, um, as you can see, just kind of let some really hot water run um, and I let them sit in hot water and then I let that hot water out and then I go ahead to proceed like with the gloss bath and I'm just adding in my alcohol and I'm adding in some dish detergent, which is the palm olive. I really like this one or degree for getting the um, gel or any extra oil off of the tube. So I'm going to be quiet now because I know that <laughs> some people really like these gloss baths. I'm going to let the music still play in the background, but it's almost like ASMR. So I'm not sure what I'm saying. So here is the gloss bath. So now that the gloss bath is over, it's time for me to package up these lip oils. And I'm just showing you guys how I do that for the wholesale order. I'm just going to be placing them into this black organza bag. And I really like to utilize um, bubble wrap for the lip oils or just any wholesale order really um, to make sure that they're not broken when they arrive or cracked or anything like that. So you're going to see me just wrap these up really tight. And then I'm going to take tape to make sure that it's even more secure like i'm gonna wrap them really really tight to ensure that they're just really close together and not loose at all um in the event that they're like thrown on a truck or anything like that um so that's what i'm doing here and i personally like to use packing tape better than just like standard regular tape because i feel like the packing tape holds a lot better and holds the package together a lot better so that is why i'm using packing tape for this and that is pretty much it. Um, this is all that I do when I make my wholesale lip oils or lip oils in general. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bar and give this video a thumbs up. Love y'all.